Green, 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 and they'll race their way down into turn number one. Who gets the whole shot? We'll come to the bottom of the racetrack. Hildebrand trying to hold the spot, but Kayak, I believe, getting a really good start as well. He got the whole shot, but Hildebrand moved him out of the groove and got the lead back at turn number one. Marcus Kayak with the whole shot off the line. Pedro Hildebrand back to the lead, and Kayak now on full defense mode for Marion Kremers for second. Yeah, Kayak made a move to the inside. That is Danny Formal. Formal out on the opening lap over there at the uh, turn two, turn three complex. Oh man, Danny Formal had such a good weekend rolling already out here. As is, I believe, is that Kyle Wick out as well? Yes, Kyle, Kyle Wick, Wick out Wick. in turn six. Two of the big guns of American shifter kart racing out on the opening circuit. Formal and Wick on the sidelines. Now again, they're rapidly working to clear that racetrack. Should be clear by the time the drivers get there. Here comes a pass for second. Morgan Kremers gets through right ahead of Marcus Kayak. Oh my goodness, big time crash on the front straightaway. We've got a driver up and over. Someone's pounded the wall. And that right there, ladies and gentlemen, that might put us under full course yellow or a red flag. Indeed, red flag in the air. This one, one lap in, is now gonna go back to the start lights here. Danny Formal. I don't know if they'll let him get back in because he didn't complete. Oh, there he goes. He's going to pull on into the scale line. He's going to get himself out. Danny Formal having a discussion right now with the Supercarts USA officials. Why do I have to come off? Can I get back onto the racetrack? So Danny is trying to plead his case right now to the Supercarts USA officials on pit lane here right now. Did we get a full lap in? I think we did get one lap in the book, Sanders, so that means that the race will indeed have an official start. David Cole sent me a message, says the driver who was in the incident has got up and got into the ambulance on his own uh, cord, so that's Perfect. really good news that he was able to step into the ambulance by himself. Resurgence Hang on, well, look at this. Okay, oh. so Formal was trying to get in, so this this is questionable, right? Like, the leaders got by the loop, but, but if, is it a full restart? If it's a full restart then they're allowed to work on the go-kart. So look at this, you've got nearly the entire RPG camp trying to see if they can't get Danny Formal fixed up and Wick was pushing off. His cart at least didn't seem fully like in pieces. Yep. So maybe the same thing for GFC and Kyle Wick on the Track Magic Camp. It may not be over. This is really oh, there's, there's right a now. look up in the sky. You can yeah. see there's Kyle Wick getting involved. Team owner Gary Carlton's over there trying to see what they can do. It looks like they're really working on the right side I can't tell if they're working. Oh, they're working on getting that. Is that the getting the pipe off and maybe yep. working around the axle area? There's like no engine on that GFC right there. They on that track magic. No I think. way. Are they doing a motor? That's a motor oh swap. my goodness! A Did, motor swap. Wick blew up. That oh. must have been what it was, right? Yeah. I mean, if if they're swapping it out. Indeed, indeed. He stuck the motor, and they're literally getting him back, putting another motor on here right now for Kyle Wick. Oh, helmets on. All right, now the mad scramble begins. What happens over for Kyle Wick? What happens for Danny Formal? It, there, the work has stopped here on the RPG camp. Oh, there's the helmet on for, for Kyle Wick. He'll be ready if they can get it done. Kyle Wick's got his helmet on there at the end, or putting his, uh, his helmet on at the end of the shot. And uh, Danny Formal and the Rollison Performance Group Cosmic, we'll take a look at them really quickly here. You can see they've... they've done their changes they've replaced what he needs that rpg cosmic is good to roll if it is a total restart yeah and actually i see rob howden popping up here so hopefully he's got a new uh, a bit of info for us what you got rob yeah you know what we were talking about it so i figured i'd go to the source i went right to bo barfield and he told me you leave the racetrack you are done so uh, okay. a lot of work being done but i don't think they're going to allow kyle wick to come back out. I don't think you're going to see Danny Formal back out on the racetrack oh. either that's oh, exactly man. what bo Bar barfield said you can't work on your cart on a red and if you leave the track surface, you're done anyway. So Un unfortunate there, for sure, because that was a heck of a show for all of them there. Danny's letting Kyle Wick, all of them know. Gary, the track magic camp, they're running by. They're going to get the bad news here in just a moment. It yeah. looks like that, uh, indeed, all that hard work, everything to get that cart ready to go, as soon as the cart leaves the track, it's... Uh, well, listen, I'll tell you this right now. It's uh, disappointing, but this is very... Shows you a little glimpse into the character of Gary Carlson, I think, right now. This is a guy that, like you said, GFC is about living your passion, and these guys put it all out. They just did an engine change in, what, seven minutes, eight minutes? That's uh, unreal. The whole crew digging in to get that done. Oh, uh, just got a word from uh, one of our camera guys. Driver was okay. His words to the medic, I'm fine. I just wanted to race. All right. Field set. Is. And there it is. Green flag fly. We're back at it. Hilprand down to the bottom of the racetrack. And, guys, after a lengthy delay, we are back racing.
So here we go through turn number one. Everyone under power as they head through two and three. Marion Kremer, as you saw, try to go to the top side as the Marcus Kayak blocked the low side. Pedro Hilprin, that gap he had at the end of the opening lap, that's evaporated, but Marion Kremers is not there. So Hilprin's going to bring him down the low side into seven. Single file all the way through the lead group. And Pedro Hilprin in that PSL karting factory barrel art, your pole man, leads them to turn number nine, Mike. Out of turn number nine, you got the entire field here. They're going to try to finish up this lap without any issues, but we've got... Some passes going on further back, and that's a little bit of love. I want to say that is the 278. Was that uh, Bedoso? Bedoso making things happen. Elbows up early. Yeah, David Lewinsky jumping up over top of the curbing as well to try to see if he could get by Fabian Federer. Wasn't able to get the job done, but Lewinsky and Rusiti both putting a lot of pressure. The two drivers involved in the incident that brought out that red flag, Mitchell McKay and Federico Pereiro. As we know, both drivers are fine, which is good, but those drivers, of course, out of the race. Look how close Marcus Kayak is. He's all over the rear bumper of Pedro Hill. Yeah, they are literally on top of each other. Xander coming through turn number nine and over to ten. Hiltbrand, though, leading the way again. $15,000 up for grabs in this one to see who's going to score the big money to cap off this year's Super Nationals and a big hard Oh, wreck. Bedozo into the wall. Andrew Bedozo hard into the wall coming across start finish. He hammered it there and literally cartwheeled out of the cart. The, uh, the impact shot him right out of the cart, able to jump back up. Pedro Hiltbrand's been able to pull away a little bit from Marcus Kayak. Kayak still second. Then you go to Kremers, Federer, Lewinsky, Ruschetti, and Jake French in his final Super National Starts P7. Top five kind of coming back together. Hiltbrand got away. Kayak and Kremers starting to try him down. Look at Lewinsky. He tried the inside on Bobby and Federer. Could not get down the inside. We've been hearing it already with everybody else who runs the Evinco Reds. Tire degradation. Yeah. 25 laps. We even had it in the last five laps of the Masters X30 race. Well, I told you right now, Hilprand's not doing that because Pedro Hilprand. Whoa, is look at that bump and run by Lewinsky. David Lewinsky puts the bumper to the reigning series champion, Marion Kremers, roots him out of the way. Move, and he's going to get it back. Yeah, Marion Kremers <laughs> will give it right back to him there for fourth. Here comes Ruschetti. Yeah, not surprising. A little big move to the inside French. there. That is French. Book it. He gets to the inside of Ruschetti. Marcus Kayak's falling back, and now Kremers going to block again. Does Lewinsky try to move him? He tries it. French trying to cross him over. Jake French, what a send-off story it would be yeah. to close out his pro shifter career with a podium at the Super National. French in six, Ruschetti uh -oh. in seven. Here comes a big run down the straightaway. Ruschetti's back on French. French, French around the outside. Can he hold it? He's still there. He's oh, going to chop the nose. Wow. He pulled a little KA Masters yeah. game. Right? Yeah. Senior game right there. Not giving it up there. Coming across the bow. Look at that. That's Ricky Longy there. Oh, and around goes. Uh, is that A.J. Myers? A.J. Myers and Matteo Vigano. Two of the best here get collected as Ricky Longy, I think, was trying to maybe play blocker for Jake French and dive bomb Ruschetti to get him out of the way. And it all bottlenecked at the end of turn six. That'll give Marion Kremers a little breathing room. Meanwhile, up front, Fabian Federer continues to chip away. French, little hip check, gets through. Hello, Jake French to the top five. Well, what a move. Yeah, that was an old school, uh, got a world championship CIK European move. Ricky Longy setting him up, though. Longy's looking. Longy thinking about it. French overcooks it. The rear end just going away on him. Longy's got to cut him a break in two. But what it also did is it allowed him to rotate through the corner so he was able to get back on the throttle, yeah. and it wasn't uh, something that Longy could actually pull off. Perfectly timed, right, just to get the little extra rotation on Lewinsky. There goes Longy now to the inside. He's going to make the move on French. He'll go to P5. Uh, maybe six tenths off his best lap, and he can kind of cruise a bit here. 2.1 seconds the advantage, and Lewinsky continues to go to work on Jake French again. This is the battle for sixth spot we're watching. Right behind is the Rusini in the eighth spot, Trefiloff ninth, and Dicker tenth. And that is the fight we're seeing. The biggest scrap right now, Xander, really, is for that final position in the top six. Yeah, Jake French trying to hang on again. Obviously, we know Marion Kremers put the bumper pretty good to David Lewinsky. And so Jake French and a pushback bumper penalty might get him. I mean, oh, Cooper big Beckman. problems. Yeah, Cooper, Cooper Beckman. Beckman. For Pedro Hilprand as he works through eight, over to nine. We're going to cap things off for this year's Super Nats. Hilprand knows it. Out of the final corner, $15,000, Richard. Pedro Hilprand winning at the Super Nationals here at the Rio. And there it is across the line for the top five. Jake French hangs on over David Lewinsky as he takes his final checkered flag of his pro karting career.
Pedro Hildebrand gonna give the crowd some donuts here as we get set to go. Oh, little push of the barriers, that's all right. We don't need them anymore. Pedro Hildebrand gonna light them up here with what little bit of a Vinco tire rubber he's got left. Ladies and gentlemen here, and there's a little burnout as well. Showing him up to the side, Mario Crevers just wants to show Pedro exactly how it's done. Cool stuff though. Engines are off here in the paddock. Ladies and gentlemen, let's have you hear it. Pedro Hilprand is pumped up. Can you hear it here for your pro shifter? $15,000 main event winner. The driver, ladies and gentlemen, winning the Super Nationals this year at $15,000, Pedro Hilprand. 15 grand. The traditional pass off. Tom Cutcher gets the helmet, Pedro gets the money, $15,000.